Hello Airsoft friends, and welcome to this video today, where today I'm going to be talking about my testicles. Yes, my soft testicles, which I like to carry around with me in my in my trousers, in my pants, next to my, ne next to my willy. Because I got shot in them, uh, the, like, a while ago, um, uh, and it wasn't that fun. It took me down to the floor, I felt like I was going to be sick, and it got me thinking, like, maybe there's something which should be done for, or I should do, to protect my dangly things that, that like to hang out in the warmth between my thighs, you know, like, because they are, they are delicate things which I'm going to need in the future for, for babies and, I don't know, and playing with. It all happened when I decided it was a good idea to play Echelon again, which, by the way, it is a good idea and you should check it out if you're local to it. So if you're in and around or near Gravesend, then check it out. Link to their Facebook is in the description. It's very good. Don't let me getting shot in the, uh, the penis area uh, deter you at all. Now this kind of comes off the back of a recent video where I did saying that playing in shorts is a good idea, which I still 100% agree with by the way. I think that playing in shorts is fantastic. However, I think that if I was wearing more combat -y type trousers, I probably would have experienced less pain in uh, the, the groinal area because like the, the combat trousers are more of a kind of like solid -y material, I suppose. So say for example, with this bag here, uh, this isn't my my sack tool. This is going to be like shorts. If this is like nice shorts, then when the BB would come through, it would just kind of go like that. And then boom, there's my testicles. Whereas if like this cardboard here, you could say, is combat trousers and the BB comes along like that. It kind of goes like, oh, it's the, ah, oh, there they are, there they are. So it's got more resistance. It's harder for the BB to get to my dick. And that may be a good way for me to, um, you know, protect my children makers in, 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 the, in the future, you know. Now, I think I was a bit lucky. Um, it did miss, like, the main shaft edge area of my penis, the sausage as you uh, as you could say instead it was it was mainly a testicular attack uh, I, d I don't know what you would say whether that would be better or worse I have seen um, a picture of a penis get shot um, on the shaft dull helmety type area of which the helmet did not seem to defend it at all so I don't know why it's really called that and it looked worse than mine uh, that's for sure. However, I think that, you know, it, it still sucked. It took me out. I was on the floor for a good few minutes uh, where it happened. But the worst thing that it, that is about this whole incident is that it was not a BB from the enemy. It was a friendly fire assault on my genitalia. And that's something which just is not cricket. I got shot from the enemy. I put my hand up. I caught hit. I walked back and then I got shot in the penis by my team. But don't take my word from it. Enjoy this clip because I've got it on video. <laughs> Man down. And this is the part where I almost threw up. That's a stomach churner, that. <laughs> oh. And this is the part where I just lay on the floor for a while uh, in, in agony. I got shot in the testicle, so oh, just, no. just give me a moment. Since this incident, I kind of got to thinking, is there much penis protection available for you to, to get and to buy? I haven't really been into like a shop like Surplus Store uh, or seen on any websites, you know, like, uh, like platoon stores or anything like that of um, any specific, you know, like penal protective equipment, you know, or PPE, uh, not to be uh, mistaken with the with the regular personal protective equipment, which has been sought after so recently. The penal protective equipment, I think, is more like reserved for, you know, maybe like cricket where you can get like a box or I think you can get like a jock strap. Is that right? I, I feel like there's different different meanings for these things depending on who you talk to, but isn't like a jock strap like pants, but with a cup, but there's no bump fix on it, or something like that, you know. So it's got me thinking, maybe there is a, you know, a, a, a solution like that, which is worth it. Because I feel like, you know, I've not really been shot in the, uh, in, you know, the, the fun area um, many often times up until this point. And it's only since I've been starting to play CQB where it's become a bit of a worrisome, thing for me because I do not wish to get shot in my genitalia again. It sucked. I don't want to feel like, you know, I need to instantly throw up from having an engagement. I don't want to feel like, you know, I'm gonna just 
uncontrollably we in my clothing um, because somebody shot me in the uh, in the balls. There's many a feeling which I would like to not endure again or go through. Um, so that's something which I'm going to look into. So if you have any recommendations for how I can protect my penis and my testicles in future airsoft adventures, then please do let me know. I, I think I could put like some, sh some socks in my pants um, to help out with that. I know that uh, a friend of mine did that the first few times he played airsoft and from now, uh, from my experience, I don't blame him because that wasn't something which I was expecting or wanted to happen. I don't want people to to think I'm, you know, stuffing myself and walking around with a massive bulge. I don't need to do that. Can you just imagine the posts now? Stay Fresh Shoe stuffs his pants to make it look like he's got a massive penis. No, I've got a massive penis because of the balls out plays that I do. Have you seen my gameplays? That is like a cheap, quick way to uh, to protect the boys, um, all, th all three of them. And I think that there may be other ways to do that too. So if you've got any ideas on how I can look after my, you know, my, my genitalia from, you know, BBs, whether they be from friend or foe, Ideally from foe though because of, you know when you get shot in the balls from your friends It's just a kick of the balls really and let me know tell me in the comments Let me know if penis protection is something which is a concern of yours And if even if it is or if it isn't let me know your ideas that you have in order to you know protect yourself I, I want to play airsoft in a world where I don't have to worry about if all of my body parts are going to make it home in one piece or even make it home just the same color that they went out in because let me tell you this i they the color changed the the color changed there was a lot of purples and reds that were involved and then you know as time went on light browns started to get involved in there as well so yeah oh it's not a fun experience but let me know if you've got any ideas for what i can do and uh, if a lot of good options come up or some come up which i feel like could be worth trying out i'll pick them up i'll review them and i'll let you know uh what they look like by the way here's what my dick looked like just kidding i'm not gonna show a picture of my like balls and penis on youtube are you mad are you, are, are you mad i'm gonna put that on here god i bet some of you were like oh yeah let's see what it looks like <laughs> wait if you were one of those people that wanted to see my dick just tell me in the comments below okay go on don't be shy uh don't don't be shy let's not make this weird oh god i think it got weird didn't it well in that case let's just end the video there thank you very much for watching and for listening to me talk about my penis huge shout out to all of my patrons who like to support this type of content and if you'd like to support this kind of content too jump in the link in below uh, and join the patreon and more content like this will come out because that's what you support and that's what you like to see so yeah thank you patrons for supporting that that's great um i yeah i love it it's great thank you Thank you very much. If you would like to make some Airsoft friends, join the Discord too. There's over 500 Airsoft friends in there. So yeah, join it, get chatting, and uh, yeah, enjoy now having lots of friends because, you know, friends is good. This video was also sponsored by Project Airsoft. So if you would like to get some brand new Airsoft upgrades, extras, and things like that, why don't you just check out the website? Link is in the description below again as well. Projectairsoft.co.uk, just like that. It's very pretty. We recently rebranded, and now it looks even cooler. So yeah, check it out. Thank you very much. It does mean a lot. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Remember to call your hits. Remember not to shoot your teammates in their dicks. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>